The new coronavirus is mutating and evolving as it adapts to its human hosts. That's according to a series of studies from thousands of samples. But what does this mean? Let's rewind. The coronavirus disease is called COVID-19, and the virus responsible for it is called SARS-CoV-2. Experts have been studying the genomes of SARS-CoV-2, and this is what they found. Researchers at the Los Alamos National Laboratory in the United States track genetic mutations in the spike of the new coronavirus, the part that gives it its distinctive shape. They found 14 such mutations, one of which they say was of urgent concern as it may be becoming dominant and may make the disease more infectious. University College London also found 198 mutations from a sample of 7,500 infected patients around the world, but said none appear to be particularly worrying at this stage. Now, we know viruses mutate, it's what they do. But what does this information tell us? Well, another study from Britain's Glasgow University, which also analysed mutations, found that these changes did not signal that there are different strains of the virus. That contradicts a previous study by Chinese researchers that suggested there had been two strains circulating in people at the start of the outbreak and that one had been more aggressive. So what does that mean? Well, some geneticists like Eric Topol, who founded the Scripps Research Institute in California, say this debunks the idea of multiple strains altogether, saying, quote, we know there is only one strain. Others say it provides fascinating insights into the evolution of the virus. But do these mutations mean the virus is getting more dangerous? Lucy Vandorp, who co-led the UCL research, said that looking into more stable parts of the virus could help with drug and vaccine development. But quite simply, genetics experts say it's still too early to know whether any of the mutations are meaningful.